I mean, I just love her story. I mean, such an underdog story fighting her way back into this league and showing everybody that she should have been here from jump as Agumba Wale gets nothing but net from beyond the arc. Trying to get more chemistry with her team, fill it out. The game is coming slower to her. And now we have a three-ball shootout. Enrique looking to go against Courtney Williams. Ten on the shot clock. She's sizing her up, looking for the one-on-one. -on -one. Blows past her, doesn't get the foul, but she does get the bucket. Perfect from the free throw line. 11 free throws for her tonight, five for eight from the field. And you're seeing the shot clock again winding down from Avery, and she <laughs> lights it up once again from the outside about her scoring efforts in the last game. Still putting it together in this game, and it didn't take much for Enrique Agumbawale. It's game time. In this game, and Enrique Gumbawale drives into Crystal Bradford. Some players like that, of her caliber, you just hope you do your part to throw her off. Thornton doing her part for the steal, deflection there, and the two points. And that's what Atlanta needs. That was the, the missing punch from the first couple games, or the first game, should I say. That killer instinct to put the game away as Thornton knocks down a three of her own to try to keep her team in the... She had five double-doubles last year. This is her first one of the season. Beautiful block underneath by Harrison. It's been that energy And she picked team. up the assignment to front Arike Agumbawale. And a lot of people, and right now they're switching just to give her a break. It's at the end of the game. And Arike knocks down the deep NBA range three-point shot. Wale was not that effective. But, you know, right now, Agumbawale shoots from nearly the dream logo at half court. I thought her foot was on the <laughs> WNBA 25th anniversary sign.